Okay guys, remember when I was talking before, I would be saying a lot of, these are just normal FRCC things. This is just slightly over the normal line at FRCC, but still in the normal realm for FRCC. Okay guys, here we go. Pretty Western is gonna try to... thing that shot under the truck and not up guys it exploded that strap it only looks like maybe a two inch though definitely need a stronger strap or the trackle man it was just starting to hey you can come under just kidding <laughs> Okay, here's our buddy. Hey, am I am I filming this last guy's minutes of life when his buddy shows up? <laughs> oh, nothing like swamping your buddy's renegade. Oh my goodness. Hopefully they get a run in. <laughs> just straight rev limiter. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man, we should just hook this guy up. He told his grain truck over. Okay, we got way thicker straps. We need you to arm curl that a couple times. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Blake. You might want to put it around fuels. Way over there. Okay, guys. Current set up. Robert showed up. Yeah. Times at FRCC. Yeah, exactly. Hey, this is normal FRCC well, stuff. It's a regular day. <laughs> trucks getting flipped. <laughs> I think this will work, guys. It's way heavier straps and two trucks. Hey, buddy. Oh, peanuts. Okay, yeah, so pretty western stay there to hold them this guy unhook and pull forward Yeah, perfect perfect just slid a tiny little bit It's a good thing you showed up man. We were pretty much screwed till you showed up. Hey, man It all takes one brain to figure it all out Just kidding. I'm not that guy That's gonna be upset. Yeah Canola, canola in the drink, exactly. Old, peas, he had peas, said he had peas. Old. Little Shift, did I know, it holds shifted. 600 bushels. <laughs> yeah, of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. water in the back. I bet he had three of the, uh, <laughs> the tank. You had those, uh, yeah, the only the thing to worry about is <laughs> the seal on that diesel fuel tank cap. Hang on, I'll pull the wood out of there. Okay guys, we got our wide angle. So, Robert's gonna try to pull forward. Pretty Western might have to start backing up. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. Or, yeah, who knows, we'll see. Once Robert starts putting some pressure on, we'll see. If he starts driving forward, maybe that'll help pull him up on the road. Okay, we're getting a driver in there so he can crank the tires if he has to. Once he's in, and it's like literally beautiful shape. 80 sh GMC, GMC or Chef GMC. Oh, air brakes too! Holy smokes! We were never rich enough farmers to have air brake grain trucks. <laughs> so they were just driving along nicely, and it and it slid right off the road. It is so greasy right here on both sides. Okay, here we go. Greasy. He's torquing up. He's getting at least a bit of grip. Robert's getting nothing for grip. It's so greasy. 
Jeepers. Really nice tandem grain truck. They're freaking heavy. I wonder what they'd be. I think they'd be 20,000 pounds. 15,000 pounds, what would they be? This guy's thinking that they can drag him out this way. Mm, I don't know. One thing for sure is he'll definitely get a lot more traction down here. Okay, so he hooked up a little shorter. He gave her a little tug. And I'm telling you, it is barely moving. That thing is heavy as heck. No traction. Man, Dad's gonna kill me on Monday. <laughs> Boys, it fired up. We might have a chance. I think the diffs are right on the edge of the road there. Oh, maybe not. Looks like there's a sea here. Well, at least she fired up, heck yeah. The old GMC, never counted out. So if he can help a little, the only problem is him pulling this way, it's almost like he's pulling against him, but he can't let off the pressure or it's gonna fall back in. We need another truck to come at an angle, hook up, put pressure on, then he can let go. Then two trucks pulling out this way, one at an angle. The whole problem here is you're basically like being anchored to your truck is like being anchored to earth itself. Yeah, so no, so no, one, no, no one is moving it until we figure out how to get this pressure off. But reinforcements are here, boys, so things are looking up. Robert's coming in at an angle. I'm not sure what the fire truck's gonna do, but. Can you imagine if he just turned that thing on right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that thing on the tug pad's like insane. It's like when you're feeling cute on the tug pad and you win a couple and then the fire truck comes in and drags you. <laughs> okay, fire truck is backing up. We got, oh, we gotta lock that posse. Gotta lock that diff in. Okay, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, look at this. The key the entire time. The entire time, the key was pretty Western giving her. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. Look at this. You, you can't keep a GMC down. Turn the key, she'll go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 90 degrees, turn the key, she'll go. in here just slugging 18 foot 2 by 12s <laughs> what do we got how are the peas looking how are the peas looking that's why it was so hard you guys there's a lot of weight of water in there <laughs>
Okay, so they got a couple straps wrapped around the axles. They'll get those free. Cody's here, so if they need another guy, he can hook up, and he might almost make it to dry land, so that would really, really help. Okay, you gotta stop. All sorts of, they might be wrapped around that one as well. I'll try to get this all sorted out. But Robert must be so planted in there. Cody! Oh, what is going on there? What is that all about? Okay, so we did have a lineup of Megas trying to pull them frontwards. That wasn't really working. So now they got the telehandler. What's good about that is he can lift him. Obviously, he's in a real hole there, so we'll see how that works. Andy at the controls there. Solid dude. It is, it's, it's really gnarly in here, and the water is fairly deep, so. But obviously there is one heck of a hole there. And that's the thing, right? Like, no one knows 100% what's the best way until you start kind of trying things. Does that work? No, it's making it worse. You know, until you start trying things, you just, you just have no idea. Everyone's got a little bit of a theory on what they think would work best. But we'll see what happens here. Okay, so he boomed out a bit. They're doubling up the tow strap. The only problem I foresee is the telehandler's in a real greasy spot. But, oh okay, yeah, here we go. He's putting his pads down to get a little bit more stability. Not sure what the plan is now. But you see how easy that, like that is a piece of equipment. That is, that truck's got to be, what do you think, Robert? What do you think? I don't know, 15, 18, 20,000, I don't I have no idea. Something like that though. Okay, so maybe Cody can hook up to him. And while the telehandler's taking the weight off, Cody can start pulling him out. This should work. Just as long as it doesn't start rolling more drivers. Okay, getting that stuff hooked up. There's the grain truck. Back there running, running better than it ever has after being on its side. Ready, right, right there. All a bunch of good dudes too. Okay, telehander lifting. Well, we definitely made some progress. Oof. 
Hopefully Cody didn't break nothing there. He was really torquing up. I'm not sure if Robert's truck's not running now. Oh, there he got it started. Cody's out of his truck, that's not a good sign. Wouldn't that be something if this guy was stuck now? Oh goodness. Meanwhile in the swamp. Truck hooked up. It shouldn't take much, although that telehandler will weigh an incredible amount of weight. What are the stats? Maybe I'll put it down here. JCB D510. I wouldn't be surprised if that thing was 40,000 pounds. Something incredible like that. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Oh, we got the fire truck back to, to the front of Cody. That thing is the ultimate low geared tank for towing. <laughs> it shows you how greasy this this hole in particular guys this is a really bad one only the biggest of the big trucks go through this guy's probably on 40s or bigger Okay, here's the last little bit of a tug. The old airport fire truck's hooked up. Shouldn't take too, too much to tug them out. We're gonna try to go through where he was stuck. Just for fun, we're gonna try where he was stuck. You think it's pretty deep right here? It's really deep. Swamp monster. Yes. We gotta find Robert. Just to get in the spot, Every time you got that damn phone on, I break something. <laughs> oh, it was torquing up so raunchy. What What do you think let go? Oh, it's twisted. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, the, the twist of that axle to do that, hey? Robert said, Robert said he'll fix that for you. <laughs> Hey, you could have just hooked on to him and pulled him out. <laughs> Look at this thing, you guys, little itis. These things are cool. Bro! You know what? It's gonna make for an awesome video. <laughs> awesome. 
That was a hole and then some. And then so some. when you did you get in, did you spin down? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. when I went in at first, we dropped in and we're like, oh it won't be bad, we'll just pull through it. And then it just went down. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then Kyle, a good friend, jumped in to find the front toe point because we were right against the back uh wall. Yeah, yeah. And he was going head under water. Trying to hook As up. far as he could reach, couldn't find my low toe oh, point. Oh my goodness. So then then we had one mega on the front. Then yes. we had two megas on the front. We were up to, I believe, three yeah, megas. We, we showed up when there was three. Three. And then Cody backed in almost four. <laughs> yeah, but then we didn't trust what we were hooked yeah, to on yeah, the front. Yeah. So we're and like. they're all in soupy water with not much traction anyways. Yeah. So then we're like, the zoom boom's right here. Yeah. Okay, let's pick. Yeah. As soon as we picked and it twisted me so much, my truck died. Oh, I think we, I think it leaned so far and run out of fuel. Oh, yeah. So then Cody's like, oh, I'll try drag you, dad. And I'm like, okay. And he made me about a foot and yeah, then yeah, he yeah, broke. Yeah. So then we put more fuel in, got my truck running again. Zoom, boom. And, 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 and with all your truck running, it would have been so, 20 it's times so harder. It's so suctioned in What do you think your truck weighs? 12,000 to 11,000 pounds. Okay. That was like maybe 15. I, no, didn't, I had no idea. Not bad. Not too bad. And yeah. the telehandler, that thing's probably 30,000. Yeah. Those things are crazy heavy. I was very impressed at how much that it thing lifted. That thing is Just whoop. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. Awesome. awesome. All right on. I made a good video. Yeah, right on, buddy. <laughs> like I said, always try hard when you're yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>